are now joined by number eight ranked UFC middleweight contender Derek Brunson. Our first question goes to Jay Anderson with Kate Side Press. Hey, welcome back, uh, Derek, and congratulations. Uh, there's been a promotion to the main event here for you, which is uh, cool. Still three rounds, though. Was there any talk of doing this as a five rounder, or is that just out of the question given the time frame? It wasn't so much it was out of the question. It was just we had a week notice, and I think uh, both parties have been training for three rounds, so it was just uh, the natural thing to do, I guess. And speaking of the other party, uh, what are your thoughts on Edmonds' run so far? I mean, there's been a lot of hype, obviously some big performances out of him, but this does feel like it's a step up. Yeah, definitely a step up in competition. Um, he did what he needed to do. You know, if you want to be considered as a prospect, you come in and you win your first couple fights, and now here's a step up in his test. And last one for me, I mean, this is your third time headlining UFC card. I believe you're in the top 10, a couple of good wins coming into this. And a lot of talk has been about him. Do you feel you're getting the respect you deserve here? Uh, all that stuff doesn't bother me. My job is to go out there and get the win by any means. So that's what I'm focused on and the rest will take care of itself. All right. Well, best of luck uh, on Saturday. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Our next question goes to Nolan King with MMA Junkie. I appreciate the time. Uh, it's been a little while since we've seen you too. It's been uh, almost a whole year since you've competed. So, I mean, what's this last year been like for you with the pandemic, everything you got, you know, back-to-back -back fight cancellations? How difficult has that been? It's been, it's been COVIDness. Uh, so everybody's been dealing with the same thing, uh, away from the family, trying to train, trying to get adequate training partners gyms being closed, especially in North Carolina, we, our gyms are still not open. So we've been shut down since the beginning of the process. So I've been out in Florida for this training camp and been getting, you know, the training I need for this fight. Adding COVIDness to my vocabulary. I like that, but uh, it's been also, it's been two and a half years since you've, you've been in a main event. So how nice is it to you to, to, to kind of come into a fight where your, your, your face is on the posters again and, and know that you're, you know, you're moving in the right direction. It feels good. You know, every fight is important. Uh, I've been at this for a while, so it's just, it's just another fight for me. I need to go in there and take care of business and do what I know I can do. And, and you know, the, 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 the line of questioning before me, you know, you hear a lot of things like, oh, Edmund's got a lot of hype. He's had big performances. Do you feel like you're being overlooked at all here going against a guy who, who is on a bit of a roll and, and people are pegging as the next big thing? No, I don't. I mean, I, I'm not really worried about hype or anything like that. I just go into to each fight the same way, you know. My goal is to go out there and get my hand raised, go out there and look for finishes. Um, I'm not really concerned with what the other person across from me, if they're getting hype or if the media is really focused on them. I know what my job is ultimately, and I'm here you know, to win and make a statement. You talk about you know going in there on, on Saturday trying to get your hand raised. I mean, obviously, without giving away your game plan or anything, I mean, how do you get that done? How, how, how does Derek Brunson get his hand raised on fight night? I'm just being myself out there. I'm the veteran in the fight. I've, I've had a lot of fights in the UFC now, um, a lot of fights in Zufa. So just being myself out there, um, I've had fights where I made mistakes. I had fights where I got finishes. Um, so now it's just about putting it together and, and you know, doing what I do. Cool. Appreciate the time, Derek. Good luck, man. Thank you. Our next question comes from Sumik Data with Sportskeeda. Hey, Derek. Hope you're doing well. Uh, first thing I wanted to ask was, uh, over the years, you've competed in some numerous fights in the UFC, but does this one feel a bit different considering everything that's going around with the pandemic? Uh, we had the pandemic going on, but uh, people don't really care about that, you know, considering the fight. So that's my main focus is to do what I can prepare as I'm supposed to, because a couple of years from now, nobody's going to remember, oh, the COVID was going on or whatever, whatever. They're going to remember the results of the fight, how you perform, how it looks. So I'm just taking, you know, all the excuses out and really focusing on the fight. Right. Uh, so this fight was initially supposed to take place at UFC 248, but then it got canceled twice. Uh, you know, finally, now that you're getting to compete for the fight, does that affect your game plan mentally, you know, after such a long gap? Nah, I've been in this game for a while, so having a long layoff really doesn't bother me. I know some people say something about rain rust, but uh, I don't really believe in that too much. You know, when you're getting good training, good sparring, um, you go out into a fight, it's the exact same thing. So um, I feel ready and prepared for the fight. 
Right. Uh, one last question. Uh, given you walk out with a win this weekend, do you have an ideal opponent for your next fight? Someone you'd like to face from the division? Um, at this point, it's just one fight at a time for me. You know, uh, I won my previous two, and I need need to keep chipping away. So that's kind of my focus focus and drive right now is just take care of that fight that's in front of me, and then after the fight, we'll start looking for that next fight. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, and good luck for your fight. Thank you. Next question is from Louise Green. Hi, Derek. Um, obviously, a lot of people have been talking about the hype surrounding Edmund. But, you know, what was your first initial reaction when this fight was first put forward to you? And what do you think he brings to the table in this matchup? Um, when they offered the fight to me, I was like, OK, cool. You know, we got a, a young, undefeated prospect. He's 11 and 0. I mean, if you do the sport long enough, obviously, you're going to get that loss. So. It's a perfect time to go ahead and, and, and break him into that column. And obviously this, this fight was put together, it was cancelled and rescheduled. So how have you been making the most of your time in terms of your preparation and not overtraining because of the, the long run up? Yeah, this fight was booked a couple of times and, you know, with the COVID and the injury the first time. And I think one time before that, we were looking to fight on another card, but I think he needed more time. So it's kind of like the fourth time, but... You know, it was the last time we were supposed to fight. I was in really good shape. The weight was really down. So I had to go back home, eat some some candy, some chips, some cookies and stuff like that. So just kind of tone it down, bring my body back so I'm not beating my body up 24-7 and, you know, being real fragile. But I did that and I'm back and um, ready to make this weight cut and then get to fight. And you said previously to somebody else about, um, you know, this is a step up for him. What do you think you can expect to see from him, though, on Saturday night? I expect to see his, his normal self. He's a guy that, that goes out there and look to finish fights. Uh, I remember we, we have about the same similar record when I first started the game. I was 9-0, and all first-round finishes, so I went out there just to get guys out of there. So he kind of does the same thing, so I know exactly what he's thinking and how he feels. Definitely. And, and obviously, you've been in there with Israel Adesanya, the champ, he has obviously a title fight coming up uh, against Paula Costa. From your point of view, how do you see that fight going down? I'm not sure. Um, it, it's, it's an interesting matchup. Um, Israel, Israel likes to stay long. Costa likes to stay in your face with heavy pressure. Um, whoever can impose their will, I believe they'll walk out with their hand raised. But it's, it's definitely a good fight. And I, I presume that's obviously a fight you know, with Israel if he is successful and he does hold on to the title I presume that's a, a fight you're obviously wanting to get back oh absolutely I like to just keep climbing up you know and, and ultimately the goal is to get that title shot I've been in this game for a while I've got a lot of quality wins but I have yet to get a title shot so that's that's still the goal to hand yeah all right well thank you good luck on Saturday thank you that's all we have for you today Derek thank you thank you